Sophia. Hi, Sophia. Hi. Are you ready to organize your closet? Yes, I'm doing it right now. Yeah, we're going to, we went to buy hangers for you, and now we're going to hang up all your stuff, right? Yep. Using a similar method to what I did in my closet, except hers, since she's much shorter, we're just going to keep all of her clothes down here on the bottom. And we'll use this to save any clothes that... For the baby. No, well... We'll use it to save any clothes that you're growing into. And we still have place, places in here, storage in here for toys and shoes and all sorts of stuff, right? Yep. Hard to do this. All right, I'm glad to see you working and organizing well, your own closet. Watch my, um, Mario stuff. Well, I'll let you organize for a little bit and watch at the same time, okay? See you guys later. I left Sophia in here to try to organize herself a little bit while I was moving boxes around to... I didn't even organize it. <laughs> and she says she didn't even organize it. Okay, so... Oh, yes, yeah, she only organized the books and a couple of items on the top shelf right here. You can see that in these books. So, this is our task for today. Get all of her toys. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of toys where they need to go. Yay! Not hooray! Not hooray! <laughs>
Okay, Sophia had to take a snack break, but we're in progress. She was able to get her My Little Ponies in a bin, and she opened up one container of like just a couple of My Little Ponies that were still in the box. So we unboxed those so that way she could have that out. I went ahead and set up all of her books right here. We wanted to create like a reading corner for her so you can kind of see the beginnings of that. She wanted to put all of her stuffed toys here and then we're gonna hang up this netting from the ceiling so that way it drapes down. So that's a task for today. Um, and then she has a coloring bin right here with her crayons and markers um, and then some larger stuff. And then she still has several bins that are empty, like one right here, one single toy that's gonna be Barbies. Um, and so these bins I actually got from the Dollar Tree. Um, I really like this because it fits well in here. These bookshelves are like the kind of like just generic five shelf bookshelves that are like taller versions but I laid them sideways so that way she would just have the space um, and I like this idea of like stacking the bins like this so that way there's like two on the bottom and then one on top of it so it fits three bins um, in this one little section I um, mean so it's going to be I think three bins here and then maybe I could fit maybe even potentially five in this section so that would be nice just to give her kind of the organized space here um, but even just with three, that will give her lots of organization. And so this is what we have left. All of her stuffed animals. All of these bins, which are too big for the bookshelf. So we're going to transfer these into the storage bins I just showed you. All of this type of stuff. There's lots of toys. Yeah, so we've got a long way to go, but we are... In progress so yeah we're just going to kind of do this on our own um, Sophia is getting used to her new house and he's just being silly and weird things like that so I might record some more of it but we might just kind of take our time and and do this as I'm doing other things in the house too so it might be video it might not be video we'll see how that goes so I hope you've enjoyed this update of Sophia's room um, she is an organizing like I won't, won't call it a fiend. She does love organizing. She's an organizer and a planner like her mom. And so I just wanted to show you what she has been up to while I've been organizing pretty much the rest of the house. All right, see you later.
what we've got right here is um, the nap mat that she would use in pre-k but we're gonna put that as part of your decor for your reading nook right of course and mom has to bring in the ladder and hang up your netting all right cold all of your stuffed animals ended up either on your bed or underneath on the trundle which I need to eventually buy a board for, but in the meantime, the flat sheet that came with her bedding set works just fine. All right, I'm excited. It looks good to me. <laughs> looks pretty good. Yeah. You're getting very close, honey. Can you help? Also wanted to show you her closet, which we worked on for a couple of days now. The top stuff on top are like off-season items and like some outfits that she outgrew that I'm just saving for her. I actually need to put them in a garbage bag or something to protect them a little bit more. And then she used this shelf for basically her bottoms, which she's not really a shirt and bottoms kind of person, just like her mom. So she mostly wears dresses, but that's just like shorts and things like that. So that way she can be nice and covered. Her swimsuits and we hung here, all the things that she can have within reach, all her dresses and tops. And she reached the shelf of bottoms as well. And then her school uniforms. And we put in all of her purses on this black shelf and with lots of room still left. And then underwear and socks. Yeah. Um, and there's still lots of shelving here that she can't reach at. But we will use it probably for storage at some point. Yeah, so very excited about how her room is coming along. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel, and I'm hoping to get back to planner videos soon. But in the meantime, I hope you're enjoying these organizing videos and look forward to more. So until the next video, guys, bye!